the cool thing about what we do is there's always some historical significance. There's always some story to that what we're doing is more than just an object. My name is Clint Howard. I own Deep in the Heart Art Foundry. This piece is going to the community of Dublin, California. They've been continually populated back to a Native American tribe that settled there because of this spring in the city. So the water is a very integral part of the city's history. It's also a very integral part of the Native Americans that still live there because the whole reason that this area was settled was because of this spring. In the sense of this project, the spring figure is representative of the water spirit this spirit has thrown a stone and the stone has skipped. This piece is 150 feet long and there's seven splashes. Now the sculpture is much more significant than that because every one of the splashes has a harmonic frequency that's been superimposed into the splash and that is a very specific part of the story. I don't know if it was the 60s or 70s but this Native American tribe lost their language the only members of the tribe who spoke it passed away. So you had a Native American tribe that no longer knew their traditional native tongue. And then in the 90s, some anthropologists came into the area and had wax recorded cylinders from the 1910s and 1920s when anthropologists had come in and actually recorded that tribe's language. And luckily enough, the elders in the community remembered their grandparents speaking the language enough to be able to help the anthropologists pull the language out of all of these recordings. So since the 90s, they've now refound their Native American language. And what we've got in all of these splashes is seven generations of members of the tribe saying thank you to the water spirit and that sinusoidal pattern, that harmonic pattern, is their voice frequency that was taken by technology and then visualized in technology and then superimposed on this sculpted splash in the computer and then 3D printed so that each one of those splashes has the fingerprint of the voice of a 10-year-old, a 20-year-old, a 30-year-old, a 40-year-old, a 50-year-old of this tribe. And so you've got this piece that's saying thank you to the water and recognizing that this language has been refound and now you've got seven generations speaking it. You know, it's amazing. The technology allowed it all to be created in the computer. The piece was 100% sculpted in 3D software and then the monument has been 100% 3D printed and cast using the technology. And honestly, I guess if you think about it, you know, their language was saved by technology. In our opinion, it's very old antiquated technology, but it was technology that saved it.